So look at this, we found a wild pepper. Actually, we didn't find it. Our fantastic yeah, guide, the plant up there. Uh, Harina, found it. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're. this is something that we've seen for sale at the markets around here. But it looks a lot like black pepper, like true black pepper. So it is a true piper. So you see each one of those individual berries has like a little stem to it attached to the, the catkin there. So when we saw this at the market, we are like, this is something else because each one has a stem. But if you take a look at it, it's just like how it's made up is a little bit different. So this is actually a piper of some kind. So, so there's the berry. Is there more than one berry? Is this one? Well, there's a couple dried out ones, but... Okay. So I'd like to review that. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's good. Oh! <laughs> Spicy. Yeah. There is a... Very distinct herbal taste in that. I want to say parsley. Very distinct parsley flavor. It's like if you took parsley and black pepper and you mixed it together, there's a little bit of um, a tartness to it, but like not too much. Maybe like a 2 out of 10. Uh, very little sweetness. A little bit though, maybe like a 1 out of 10. But uh, the heat's pretty good. The heat is um, a little bit less than standard black pepper. Like fresh black pepper, definitely. But like dried black pepper, it's a little bit less, but not too much uh, less. So it's got like a nice spice to it, a nice sweetness, but a really good flavor. I mean, the flavor on that is actually really good. I like that little herbal element to it. Uh, you don't happen to know the, the species of this, do you? The, the name of the species? Mm, no, just wild pepper. Here, the, <laughs> yeah. the local name would be like yes, wild pepper? Just wild pepper. Uh, and we've been seeing this pepper for sale at markets as well. You can get like a bag of it for like six dollars. You can get like a little bag of uh, like a, like 500 grams of the of the pepper. So I'm gonna try that a little bit later. But it's really cool to find the fresh pepper and, and give that a taste because that's actually uh, that's really good. I think I actually prefer that over your typical uh, standard black pepper, the Piper Negrum. Like I don't know what this is, <laughs> what the species is, but it is really tasty. Uh, and is this, do you know if it's like endemic to the area? It's just, yes, uh, is, the rainforest. Is it only Madagascar? Yes. So there's a pepper, so there's a pepper that you can only really find in Madagascar and, and um, the rainforest. And only in the rainforest. So you see that vine there? That is the wild pepper vine. Uh, we don't see any fruits on this one, but that's how it grows. You see it's just like wrapped around this uh, this tree trunk here. So, slowly finding out more and more about this pepper, <laughs> but have not seen the, the fruiting plant yet. Good. I am back in New York, guys, and in here I have regular black pepper same kind that you find on tables at every restaurant and in here that doesn't have as satisfying of a sound but in here is the Madagascar pepper I'm going to compare these side by side dry and see you know what the difference is most notably though uh, the size on these is very different the Madagascar pepper is a lot smaller than the regular black pepper Flavor wise, let's uh, let's try them whole first and see if there's a difference side by side. First I'll start with the regular one. So that's just gonna be like a control group. I mean, you know what black pepper tastes like. Maybe you haven't had like whole peppercorns uh, all that frequently though. So I would say it's like a little bit, you know, it's like a slight chalkiness to it when you eat it like that. There's a slight like woodiness when you eat it like that. Kind of like chewing on a stick. So it has that black pepper taste that you know, but there is like a little bit of a roughness to it when you eat like a whole peppercorn. For heat, I don't know how to put this on a scale really. It's not the same as chili, so it doesn't really fit my heat scale, but it's tolerable. You know, you can eat a few of those raw and although you do feel that heat, it's, uh, it's comfortable. It's not like overpowering. So I'd say it's probably, if you were to compare it to a chili, it'd be a little bit like a jalapeno, maybe a little bit stronger. Next, I have uh, a few of the Madagascar ones. 
because these are very small compared to that one. So I want to give kind of like a similar uh, dosage. So I've got like three of them in my hand here. Hmm. I think I said this when I had the fresh one. It has a parsley taste. It definitely does. Even the um, even the dry ones do. And that is missing from regular black pepper. I guess maybe it has a little bit of a parsley taste, regular black pepper, but it is very distinctive when you eat it, uh, when you eat the Madagascar pepper. It's also very herbal, kind of like menthol sort of flavor, like something like that. And it's a little bit fruitier. The heat on this is less. It's, um, but it's like a slow build. So when I first put it in my mouth, I didn't really get much heat, but with the black pepper, regular black pepper, you do. And this one, uh, it's not quite reaching where the black pepper was, but as it's sitting, swishing it around in my mouth, I'm getting like, like say black pepper is a five. This is like a, like a three out of whatever. I don't know what kind of scale that would be on. I think that regular black pepper is more versatile. You can put that on anything because it just kind of gives like a clean heat. This Madagascar pepper does not provide a clean heat. It has flavor to it. It has a lot of flavor to it. So it's not just going to add heat to your dish. It is going to add also uh, an herbal taste, parsley taste, uh, fruity taste. Uh, to what you're making. Uh, I, I'm also not picking up as much of a woody flavor that the regular black pepper had. Uh, that just might be a freshness thing. I mean, I got these Madagascar peppercorns at a market, so they probably just like foraged it, you know, so that, that might be why the, uh, the black pepper I got in a little canister this might have been sitting there for like three years, so that might be why there is um, a little bit of a chalky woody taste to it. And just because it's kind of weird just to put peppercorns in your face, here are two baby carrots. This one is the regular black pepper. You can even see the coloring on that has like a little bit of whiteness to it. This one is the Madagascar one. It's a little bit more brown. You're not seeing as much of a uh, white color in there. Whatever the hell that means. Uh, so let's start with the regular black pepper. Good adds to the carrot, but doesn't add a whole lot. It's kind of just like a simple, basic heat. Next, Madagascar pepper. I like it better. The fruitiness of that pepper goes well with the carrot, because the carrot's kind of sweet. You don't really pick that up so much with the regular black pepper. I think the Madagascar pepper goes better with sweet things, because it has sweetness to it, has fruitiness to it. So that would go really well on some mango. I mean, some people put chili on mango. This would be good on mango as well. Get a nice little punch to it. It'd be good at, like a uh, salsa. That would work well with the uh, the fruitiness of a tomato. It would go well on like on some watermelon salad or something. On salad in general, it would go well with like fresh ingredients. I think if you're trying to um, bring in a little bit more brightness to something, the Madagascar pepper I think is better for that. If you want something that's just like all around, can be used on anything, savory, sweet, doesn't really matter what the flavor is, regular black pepper would be better for that just because it is like so simplistic. It's not as good as the Madagascar pepper in my opinion, but it is more universal. You could put that on anything and it would be just fine. So I think that's about it guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. So here is the wild pepper. We oh, I dropped it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I really hope you enjoyed that video, guys. If you did, you may want to check out the video that is below me right now. That should be good too. Also, if you haven't subscribed already, it is a huge help to my channel. So please do consider subscribing or clicking that bell. That does something too. Not sure what it is. Also, check out the description below. There's all sorts of other things I have going on. I don't even know anymore. But guys, I will see you next time. Take care.